In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the O-Train Western Stage 2 extension from Westboro Station to Algonquin on Line 1 and Moody on Line 3. Westboro Station. We're going to start off here at Westboro, which is the next station west after the current Tunney's Pasture Terminus. As you can see, station is really coming along now. Lots of exterior glazing windows glass is going up platforms are really taking shape with the structural steel already in place you can see pretty much where the bus loop is going to be on the rear of the station the platforms below in the trench another look here from scott street where some bus stops will be along the sidewalk over there next station kitchisibi Kitchisibi Station is the renamed Dominion Station, located just at the Kitchisibi Meekin Parkway, and probably 10 12 minute walk away from the redeveloped and reborn Westboro Beach, which is going to be definitely very popular use for the station, in addition to all the residents and communities surrounding it. As you can see, trenched underneath, lots of glass work and platforms as the station lines up for its exit and approach to the parkway. The station also has a pass-through right in the middle to allow people to pass from one side of the community to the other. Another look through here, the beautiful glass canopies over the platforms. You can see one of the traction power substations and the platforms just underneath. You can see the guideway here that leads off from the station towards the parkway tunnel. And looking underneath the platforms. Now if we look through the station at ground level, you can see the elevator pits and the pass through to reach the other side of the community. The fare gates will be just to the right inside there. Again, another look at the platforms, this time the eastbound platforms. And we can see here the crossover for the tracks just immediately west of the station. Some of the electrical systems for the guideway and the overhead catenary system. And one of the traction power substations located just outside of the station itself. As we continue on, heading farther west, we're going to pass down into the tunnel under the parkway to merge near Richmond Road. Next station, Sherborne. And Sherborne Station is found directly in the Byron Linear Park, just alongside Richmond Road. The station platforms themselves are open to the above, open to the uh, sky. Whereas the lead up and the lead out of the station are underground and covered. As you can see here, the station platforms below grade with lots of glass and should get lots of natural light coming in from above. You can see here one of the ventilation stations pumping fresh air into the tunnel. As we scoot down further west to our next station, our next stop, which is going to be Next station, New Orchard. Again here, New Orchard, same idea as Sherborne. Platforms are open to the above. And pretty much the same configuration. It's actually flipped 180 degrees. You can see the ventilation shaft over there and the entrances to the far end over here. take a look down again at the platform area you can see center platform east and westbound trains on both sides again despite being below grade it seems like it's gonna get quite a bit of natural light which is very good lots of natural air the 
as we continue farther west you can see Lincoln Fields off in the distance as the tracks finally emerge from under Richmond Road and lead up to our next stop next station Lincoln Fields and here you can see that the bus loop the new permanent bus loop is very advanced you can definitely see the shape of it now where the platforms are going to be how the buses are going to route around it and here you can see the train platform so the first one on the left is going to be the platform heading east downtown the next one to the right is going to be going towards Algonquin and the one to the farthest right would be towards Moody depending on the service pattern that they're doing or if they're running a shuttle service this is the far end as it passes out of the station underneath Carling Avenue. And you can see the old legacy transitway station, the local bus platforms that were dismantled and made into a new island temporarily during the construction. And as we continue out of the station, going further west and south, you can see the crossovers from the three tracks that branch off to become four as we head towards the rail flyover and the underpass where tracks heading further south to line one and Algonquin will pass underneath and the tracks going to line three and Moody will pass above. So right now we're gonna head down line one where the line branches off and head off to our next station in the direction of Algonquin. You can see the old Queensway station, which is now decommissioned as the tracks lead up to our next station, which is going to be Next Station, Iris. And this station is actually really nice. It has a very, very simple design to it. Stairs going down and ramps. There's no elevators. And incidentally, it's probably the only one where you on the extension where you have to uh, pass through fare gates again if you want to switch from one platform to the other there's no common concourse in between you have to go back up to the sidewalk to re-enter but once the area is fully landscaped and grass and seed has been put down and trees and bush it's going to be quite a green oasis around it it's definitely very interesting with the creek nearby as well you can see the fare gates the ticket vending machines the platforms with the nice glass glazing on the sides. Of course, the platforms below, lots of fresh light and air coming in. Another look here at the stairs that lead down towards the platforms and the entrances. Again, ticket vending machines, the fare gates are just beyond. As we continue farther west, we're going to reach the final station, the terminus of Line 1. Next station, Algonquin. And as we've mentioned many times in past videos, the open space underneath where the station is being constructed was built as part of the project that built the new Algonquin ACCE building, located just underneath here alongside the bus platforms. You can see there's two entrances. One directly connects with the pedestrian crossing from underground into the ACCE building. And the other entrance just behind the building offers an exit to the ground level entrance of Algonquin. You can see here that's one entrance and the other entrance, the far entrance there is where the bus loop will be and a park and ride. Now if we scoot back to just around Lincoln Fields, we're now going to head towards Line 3 direction Moody as the tracks fly over Line 1 and dive down into the tunnel to go underneath Connaught Park to emerge just next to the OC Transpo garage and reach Queensview Station, just in front of Leon's. Next station, 
Queen's View. And the station's really neat because it has a pedestrian crossing to cross over the highway to Baxter Road, just next to the Ottawa Citizen Building. And the pedestrian crossing is not part of the fare paid zone, so you can use that whether you're riding the train or not without it having to pay a fare. There's three levels in here, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But you can see on this side of the highway, the train platforms and the concourse level right in the middle. This is definitely a station I'm very interested in visiting when we have the opportunity and when it's open, just due to its size, lots of glass, lots of interesting views all around. And now we're looking from the Baxter Road side. This side really very simple, just stairs and elevators going up to the pedestrian crossing to cross over. You can see the elevators on the left, the stairs would be on the right. And from here you can see the pedestrian crossing above. So as we're on the ground level here by Leon's, you can see the entrance area, double elevators that go up. You get off on that first intermediate level, that would be how you get to the concourse and the train platforms, which then becomes a fair paid zone. If you keep going up, you'll reach the pedestrian crossing, which swings over the 417 to Baxter Road. And of course, the train platforms accessed from the second level concourse that drops down below grade in the trench to reach line three. As we continue looking farther west past Ikea, you can see that the guideway dives back down alongside the 417, passes underneath the Pinecrest off-ramp, goes underneath Pinecrest and Greenbank. Next station, Pinecrest. And you can see it here just alongside the 417 below grade in a trench. Bus platforms will be just alongside the station here. It's interesting to see those horizontal beams that help provide some stability to the retaining walls on the sides, giving it extra strength and rigidity. You can see again center platform station, down below, glass, overhead canopy in the middle. Continuing westbound, runs alongside the old transitway alignment along the 417, passing underneath Richmond Road to reach our next stop. Next station, Bayshore. The station's really looking nice here, lots of glass. You can see the bus platforms off to the right are still being worked on and revamped. Train platforms here are looking fairly complete at this stage. Glass work overhead canopy is pretty much done. Still working on the platforms and the side glass curtain walls. It's really looking impressive. And it makes use a lot of the existing bus platform overhead walkways and station structures. It integrates quite nicely into the station because the station initially was built with some conversion like this in mind, so it definitely favored this type of transition a little better than some of the others further in the east. You can see here from ground level the train platforms that extend out just a little beyond the station. The new entrance pavilion building that provides connections to the bus platforms and towards the train. And over here we can see the bus platforms that are being redone and improved upon as we look once again one more time further west towards our ultimate and final destination, the terminus of O-Train Line 3. As mentioned, Moody is going to be the terminus, the final stop on line three as part of stage two. 
going to be a big bus platform and transfer station here for people going farther west towards Canada and Stittsville. You can see the bus platforms will be just alongside here in the gravel. Don't really see too much work yet on that. You can see here from ground level the entrance, the stairs, escalators that go up, elevator shafts. And where the bus platforms are going to be back over there. And from this angle we can actually kind of look inside the station a little bit. And you can see where the uh, fare gates, the ticket vending machines, you can see where the next train passenger information displays up there is not fully installed yet. And you can see beyond there the stairs and escalators. It's a very interesting station. It's interesting how the east and westbound platforms are a little offset from each other which is a result of its location and proximity to the Moody 417 off-ramp. It's again a final look towards where the bus platforms and loop is going to be. And one final look at Moody Station with all the lights on, looking nice and bright like a lantern. As we continue looking further west, we can see the Corkstown Yard Light Maintenance and Storage Facility and Canada off in the distance. So thank you for watching this snapshot look at the current progress on O-Train Stage 2 West Extension. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to Railfans Canada so you never miss our latest content.